Okay, this segment is about the frame and how we go about putting it all together. Um, a lot of people think that we get it uh, all the parts imported over here. We don't really import the motor in the gearbox. We actually make all these parts here. The aluminium is supplied from Ulrich Aluminium in Newcastle. Um, the curving of the top bottom handle is all done here. All the components are chopped in jigs or certain measurements so they go into the jigs. Um, so we can have the same components. So in Newcastle, one can get a WA and it'll fit the buggy over there. Um, as you can see, here's one of the jigs that um, makes the uh, axle housing of the buggy and the, the handle pick up. Um, it has to be strapped into a jig like that, otherwise through the heat of the process of TIG welding would uh, bend the housing down like that. So that, and then you've got the main frame. Jig, you can see how it's all locked down, well it is all big box square tube, locked in down the back here. Um, so that's helped the process. TIG welding is a unique form of welding, not a lot of people can weld aluminium, but when you finish the weld, that is the finished product. You don't have to grind or anything like that to take the metal out so it's uh, uh, strong as soon as it's finished welding. Just the, uh, some of the components. This is the 2 mil aluminium box tube that we use. It's radius corner for strength plus the 2 mil wall thickness. Now that's a mi minimum thickness of the buggy, which is the top handle and the bottom frame. This is the curve handle as well as the axle housing that's on the buggy is a 3mm wall thickness radius as I said before, radius for the strength and the 3mm wall thickness um, and all the other parts of the buggy are just all TIG welded and finished like that, ready for the powder coaters <laughs>